hi everyone welcome to my channel so in this video I'll be showing you all and how to make brown stew mushroom yes I did the curry mushroom and this time I'm gonna do the brown stew and I'm telling you it's gonna be super super delicious and so so flavorful I cannot wait for you all to try this recipe please do not forget to share this video also give it a thumbs up thank you all so much in advance and stay tuned so this is my mushroom and this is 300 gram of mushroom and I'm using the white one you can use any mushroom of your choice okay and I also have one small tomato that I cut of onion three cloves of garlic that I cut and I also have two teaspoon of my fresh thyme and just a little bit of my scotch bonnet pepper you can use any pepper to your liking okay and I'm gonna also add some pimento seed, otherwise as all spice, and one teaspoon scallion, at least half stalk of my scallion. Okay, just a small potato, Irish potato that I cut. You don't need a lot, just a little bit. This is my sweet pepper. This is off. I have the red and the green. Make sure that you cut it, you know, small like so. Just a little bit of my carrot. And these are all of my seasoning. Here I have half teaspoon of my black pepper, two teaspoon of my garlic powder, two teaspoon of my all-purpose seasoning, and one teaspoon of my paprika. And I'm gonna also add one tablespoon of my ketchup, and this is just gonna put into the sauce, and it's just gonna allow it to be nice and delicious and so flavorful. So now I'm just gonna cut my mushroom in two. I'm just gonna cut them in two. Yeah, like so. So once I finish, cut my mushroom, I'm just gonna add it to my glass bowl. Then I'm gonna wash my mushroom, wash it in some cold water, and throw off the water. So once I finish wash my mushroom, I'm just gonna season it. Just gonna mix the seasoning together and just add it. I'm gonna leave back a little bit of my seasoning for my gravy, at least this amount. Just gonna toss it around. Because I'm doing brown stew mushroom, what I'm gonna add, I'm gonna add some of my browning. And this is just gonna give it a brown color. You can also use dark soy. But one thing with the browning, you don't need a lot because it will make, you know, your pot look very dark. You know, mix it in. I'm just gonna use my hand because I want the browning to go on the mushroom. Yeah, so that's done. So now I'm gonna add my tomato to my mushroom. Yeah, then I'm also gonna add onions, carrot, my garlic, my scallion, fresh thyme, my scotch bonnet pepper. And I also add my pimento seed. Sweet pepper, potato. I'm just gonna add just a little bit more of my browning. Yes. Gonna mix it in. This is gonna be so good. I can smell all those spices already. So that's done. You can leave it to marinate for at least five minutes or just cook it as it is because and those fresh herbs. Yeah. So here I have my pot and my stove and to my pot I add at least one tablespoon of oil, 
So now that my oil is all heated up, I'm just gonna add my mushroom with all the vegetables. It looks so good. Just gonna allow it to saute for at least a minute. My stove is on a medium to high heat. Space it out. So after a minute, this is what it looks like. I'm gonna leave it for another minute. The smell is just amazing. So just after minutes or just two minutes so this is what it looks like nice and saute so this is the same bowl that I use to season my mushroom and to that bowl I'm gonna add at least one cup of my water then I'm gonna add my remaining seasoning and mix it in Add it. Yeah. I'm gonna add just a little bit more of my browning for some more color. Yes. I'm also gonna add my ketchup. Mix it in. I'm gonna leave it for at least 10 minutes. Okay. gonna add a, at least half teaspoon of my salt for taste yeah gonna cover it up so guys my mushroom been cooking for at least five minutes let's say look I'm gonna leave it for another five minutes Because I did say 10 minutes, but this is just 5 minutes. It looks so good. So my brown strew mushroom is all finished. But I take my time and remove the lid. Absolutely delicious. So now I'm just gonna plate up my brown strew mushroom. Look at that, absolutely delicious. You can serve it with some white rice, some rice and peas, some mashed potato, whatever of your liking. It looks so good. It came out perfect and it smells amazing. Look at that gravy, nice and thick, just the way I like it. So I hope you all do enjoy this recipe. I'm telling you, it looking super, super delicious. Please remember to share it. Also give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel so you can receive more amazing, delicious recipe like these. Until next time, bye and do enjoy. Yum.